Welcome to an enlightening discussion on one of the most pressing issues of our time, overconsumption. In today's world, we've become accustomed to acquiring more than we need, often without a second thought. Overconsumption isn't just about material goods. It can extend to food, energy, and even information. Why is overconsumption such a critical issue? Let's start with its environmental impacts. The sheer volume of waste generated from our excessive consumption is staggering. Landfills are overflowing, and recycling systems are often overwhelmed, leading to more pollution. The production of goods requires immense resources like water, minerals, and fossil fuels. This overuse of natural resources contributes significantly to climate change and biodiversity loss. Moreover, the destruction of natural habitats to produce more goods disrupts ecosystems. Let's turn to the economic impacts of overconsumption. While consumer spending drives economic growth, it also leads to financial instability for many individuals. High levels of debt associated with overconsumption can lead to stress and mental health issues. Communities that rely heavily on consumption-based economies may suffer during economic downturns. The pressure to constantly buy more affects not just adults but also young people, fostering materialistic values. With constant marketing and advertising, individuals are bombarded with the message that more is better. In the middle of this crisis, how did we get here? Historical context plays a significant role. Post-war economic policies encouraged mass production and consumption. The rise of consumer culture especially in the late 20th century, solidified these habits. Fast forward to today, and technology has further accelerated our consumption patterns. Online shopping and instant access to goods have made it easier than ever to overconsume. Social media platforms have amplified the desire to own the latest trends and gadgets.
This constant cycle of wanting and acquiring creates a never-ending loop of dissatisfaction. Let's not overlook the psychological aspects of overconsumption. Many people use shopping as a way to cope with stress, boredom, or emotional voids. Retail therapy may provide temporary satisfaction but often leads to long-term issues. Breaking this cycle requires mindfulness and a shift in priorities. So, what can we do to address the problem of overconsumption? Let's explore some solutions that blend practical and esoteric approaches. First, fostering awareness is crucial. Understanding the impact of our consumption can change behaviors. Minimalism and mindful living promote owning less and valuing more. Communities can encourage sharing, reusing, and recycling to reduce waste. On a psychological level, addressing the root causes of overconsumption, like emotional needs, is important. Mindfulness practices can help individuals become more aware of their consumption habits. Meditation and self-reflection allow people to find contentment within rather than seeking it externally. Spiritually, Connecting with nature and understanding our place in the world can inspire more responsible consumption. Some might find value in esoteric practices like visualization and energy work to shift their mindset. Ultimately, reducing overconsumption requires a holistic approach that addresses mind, body, and spirit. By integrating practical actions with deeper introspection, we can move towards a more sustainable future. Thank you for watching. Let's work together to create a balanced and mindful society.